Well, a warm welcome back to Changzhou and the Olympic Sports Centre Gymnasium. Just got one more match in our first session uh, to show you after uh, that previous mixed doubles. And this is going to be the number two seed. So a good chance to kind of compare and contrast uh, Wang and Huang against uh, Jung Siwei and Huang Yocheung. They're up against uh, Ahmed and uh, Kando of Indonesia. And of course, Ahmed is a legendary doubles player, Olympic gold medalist with his uh, previous partner, Liliana Netzer. Here's the draw. And obviously, we now know one of those semi finals. I'm not sure that Sio and Chai are looking forward to it particularly, but uh, <laughs> we'll see that tomorrow. And the two ties lie in wait for the winner of this one. Might be opportune to ask you more how much of a gap you think there is between uh, Zhang Siwei and Wang Yachun we've just seen and, and this pair here, the number two seeded pair. Um, on, on a regular basis, I would say there's um, a pretty big gap. However, so which one we you sometimes choose? see that uh, uh, the second one. pair from China uh, have been able to beat uh, Seng so Siwei and Huang Yajong. Uh, and they did so surf. at the uh, year-end finals, the uh, HSBC World Tour Finals in December last year, where they won uh, the, the tournament. So it's possible. They can do it, but it doesn't happen very often. Well, let's give you a bit more information then about some of these players. You probably don't need too much information about uh, Ahmed there. You follow this sport uh, avidly. He's 32 now. Olympic gold medalist in Rio. And uh, also a couple of world titles uh, with Liliana Netzer. 30, more than 30 titles in total as a pair. So a lot for uh, Winnie Candel to live up to, <laughs> to be honest. Actually, won the, the national uh, mixed doubles title with uh, Akbar Bayona. They won it as an unseeded players, and I think uh, that caught the attention of uh, Ahmed. Actually, that pair lost to Ahmed and Netzer in the semi finals of the Singapore Open last year. There's their progression, and it's been um, tough going, but they've. Uh, They've gone through in three games, particularly that uh, first round match, 26-24 in the third. They've got the work cut out from them today against this pair. They've only lost four matches all year. There's Feng Dong Ping. We'll look at their CV for 2019. Thai Open, Japan Open, Australian Open, Indian Open, and have also lost in a couple of other finals as well. And uh, her partner, Wang Li Liu, Got a bronze, these two, at the World Championships last month. They had won silver the previous year. And they won this title, it's China Masters title, a couple of years ago. And uh, a distinct contrast to their opponents in terms of how easily they've come through the first couple of matches, just barely half an hour both times. Yeah, Wang and Huang has actually been into uh, seven finals this year and they have won five of them. Uh, they are number one on the uh, race to Tokyo. They are actually higher than uh, the number one seats. Uh, Seng Si Wei and Huang Ya Chong. I obviously did them out of a, out of a tournament then. I've got the Thai Open, Japan Open, Australian Open, Indian Open. Yes, and then the Asian Championship. Ah, uh, okay, okay. And a glimpse of our chair umpire, Mai Len Yen. And, uh, Cody Leach from the United States is the service judge. And here we got Coach Nova Vidianto, who is the, who is the partner or was the partner 
of uh, Liliana Natsia before Tontowi Ahmed was uh, the partner. And they won two world titles as well in 2005 and 2007, would you believe it? So Liliana Natsia, she's a bit of a legend, I can assure you. Fantastic mixed doubles player. Ladies and gentlemen, on the right, Wang Yiklu, Wang Dongping, China. And on my left, Tatawi Ahmad and Winnie of Tavina Kendo, Indonesia. Oh. Wang Dong Bing, oh. third two, Tatawi Ahmad, level oh. play. So here we go. First is the final match of our first session. Five more matches to come a little bit later on today. We were saying in the, the last uh, match with the top seeds that if the Japanese, you know, had they got off to a good start, it was almost essential that they did to have a chance. They didn't manage to do that. Probably make a similar argument here for the two Indonesians. Totally agree. Same argument. If you want to, if you want to beat the Chinese pair, you've got to shake them up and you've got to shake them from the beginning. Yeah. Once you let them get into rhythm, then it's almost impossible. Two, one. What about the style of these two, the two Chinese pairs, um, Morton? Are, are there are there noticeable differences between between the two, the way that they play? Um, not really. They this pair here, Huang and Huang, they they also want to play very aggressive badminton. Especially Wang at the back has got a, a solid smash. He's perhaps even hitting harder than Sen Siwei. So he, he likes his attack. However, when it comes to court coverage, Sen Siwei is covering Three, the court at the two. back better than what uh, Wang Yilu is doing. And that's the major difference between the two pairs. When you look at the two ladies oh. at the front of the court, Wang Yachong is possibly slightly Four. better but it's very little. When Huang Dongping is playing at her best, she's equally good. <laughs> and that's the big hammer we just discussed from uh, Wang Yilu. He is a hard hitter. Yeah. And they did really well to get the first one back. Five, two. Obviously, the home crowd very enthusiastic about that. <laughs> That's well left. The spacious awareness there by Tuntowi Ahmed. Five. And I think we should commend Tontowi to continue playing and bringing up a young player from uh, from Indonesia and uh, taking on that task where you see a lot of uh, older players when they get in a situation like your partner is stopping under 32 oh. years old, why should Five. I carry on? But I think it's really nice that he is carrying on and then passing on uh, the knowledge to the next generation. I think that's really nice. Yeah, 12 years as part of senior is uh, Ahmed. Yeah, there was no way that uh, Liliana Nazia could really continue. She was having a lot of trouble um, injury-wise uh, on one of her knees, so uh, couldn't really continue. Service all. Bye. But they played the last match, Tontowi Ahmed and Liliana Nazi. They played in January at the Indonesian Masters and they got to the final and they lost 21 16 in the third and final game against Seng Siwei and Wang Yachong. So <laughs> it's still really, really close, even though that uh, Liliana Nazi was not 100%, let's say, fit in terms of physical. Six. Well, this was a pretty good shot from Ahmed. Tying the scores in this opening game. 
Mm, means business today. Look a bit. Seven, six. Yeah, just like uh, Wang Yilu, he's um, he's a good attacking player, Tontoi, and he also likes to play attacking. And when he played with uh, Natsia, she Eight. was really good setting Six. him up as well, giving him lots of opportunities to attack. Smartly played by Tontowi, how he's playing that block shot cross. It's coming here, that one there. And as you can see, it's dropping below the tape, which makes it very difficult for Wang to play. And added on to the new Indonesian pair, we can say that they've reached six quarterfinals just alone this year. Well, you can see why. They're playing really well in this opening game. And they've got themselves a handy little lead as well. And beaten uh, top ten pairs twice. Chan Peng Sun, Go Liu Ying, Fai Sao and Vijaja. Missed that by a distance. So a handy little cushion for Ahmed Akanda at the mid-game interval. Once again, really good serving there by Kandau. That's solid serving from the, the youngster there, just 20 years of age. Consistent hitting from Ahmad, giving Chinese pair a problem. Yeah, the problem for the uh, Chinese pair at the moment is that uh, Huang Yachong is not uh, proactive enough. It's not really uh, helping, uh, taking control of the net, and then setting up partner like what we see here. Had to lift on that one, and. Uh, that's what she should close the net down, make sure that she's not lifting and making sure that uh, Tonto is not able to play these shots kind of very close to the net. She's really enjoying herself out there. Hand out. Service all. 15. 
Looks like she really belongs to. I mentioned just 20 years of age. They're in a great position here in this first game. Spring a shock here. That's well left also. They're going to challenge it, though. Yeah. But I think it would be an unsuccessful challenge. However, let's see what Hawkeye's got to say. Turn of serve there by Wang. Good aggressive return straight down the center. Huang Dongping has not Seven got her defence up and running yet, yep. making a lot of mistakes in her defence. <laughs> ah, that's good play. That's awesome play there by Wang Yilu. Good counter-attacking shot there. Try to, yeah, try to have a look at it. This, this one there, that is beautiful. Really well played. No chance that Kano could get to that, nor Ahmed diving across the, to the backhand side of the court. Racket, <laughs> 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 seldom you've seen such a shamble, <laughs> but good fighting spirit here. <laughs> well, it's great theatre, wasn't it? With uh, Wanli Yu for a new racket. It, it wasn't the smoothest of pit stops, it has to be said, but <laughs> no. he got away with it. At one stage, we had even three rackets on the same side of the court. Look at that, one on the floor there, <laughs> putting that one away. <laughs> had it been football, <laughs> game would have been stopped. That's right, yeah. 14, 17. Two balls on the, on the pitch. <laughs> that was the longest rally of the match, 34 strokes it was. And they're uh, still in this opening game. The number two seeds down by three points now. Good flick serve there by Wang Yachong. Oh, sorry, Wang Dongping. Really nice, straight down the middle. Into the backhand side of uh, Kandao. Forced the error. Good, clever flick serve. Great 
dovetailing again between those two. Second time she is attempting that serve, and this time it was called a fault by the service judge. Yeah, pretty critical time of the game to it is. To do that. Kendo serving, solid serving again, and 19-16 is a good lead. That's a very nice lead to have. I don't Sydney. think it flatters Ahmed and Kandel, particularly in this uh, this opening game so far. takes the slightest shift, doesn't it, to alter the momentum 18, of a match. And now they're back within a point again. <laughs> Positive return by Tontoi. That was a good counter-attacking shot by Kando. Straight down the line. Service all. 20, game point, 18. So a couple of game points for the unseeded Indonesian pair. Oh. That was a poor response there by Tontowi Ahmed. Tries to look at the block shot he's playing now. Look at that. Look, it's so loose, so high. <laughs> Wang Yilu can almost not reach it. Yeah, a anywhere, could put it anywhere on court. To be fair to Ahmed, he, he's not done too much wrong in this opening game. Still game point. And now uh, Dong Ping is getting much, much more into it. Good interception there, and a nice finish. Opportunity then for Ahmed and Kandau. Take this opener. The Indonesian combination very often get into good attacking situations on Kandau's surf because it's so good. <laughs> That's out as well. So having saved three game points, Wang and Wang now have one of their own as Ahmed goes wide. Oh. 
nice net shot there by Wang Yilu. Look at that finish, reaching as far as he, he could go. Look at that, and then top of the tape. Could easily have come back, couldn't it? Just Absolutely. decided to go over. So another chance. The number two seeds, game point again. Well, they're there, it wasn't easy, but they kind of crawled over the line rather than sprinted over it. But they're a game up, 24-22 in the opening game. Hoping to get a rather better start in this game one. than they did in the previous one. Yeah. Wang and Wang. Just a fraction long. Ahmed stays, you know, injury-free for the next I don't know, couple of years. Kandel looks like a really promising doubles player. She's a good prospect. And this is you know, terrific experience for her playing against, you know, this kind of exalted company. She's holding her own. I think she played a very good first game. Yeah, she she doesn't look out of place at all. Very, very ambitious shot there by uh, Dong Ping. Of course, the idea is right, but it's very, very ambitious. Good spacious awareness by Tuntoi, leaving that one on the back line.
Not sure that came off the middle of the racket, but he <laughs> found the target. That was a nice frame shot. Well, just as in the first game, the uh, Indonesians making a pretty fast start here. Three. She's not happy with that lift, and it's understandable. It was uh, an unforced error by Kandal. What you would call well left. <laughs> no chance of getting it, neither one of them. Well, every rally, hardly got a rally lasting more than about five strokes at the moment. disguised taking off the pace knew that Kanda was backing off a little bit too much in her defense there opening up at the front well spotted well played a few words of advice from Ahmad to Kandau she prepares to return Mandel Pinsir Very quick onto that again, turned out. Yeah, the sheer pressure from Wang Yilu here, just moving Eight. forward, closing down the net. Forced the error from Kanda. She knew she had to play very, very tight. As she saw Wang coming in at the net there. two seeds as we get to the last point before the mid-game interval. 
Yeah, good third shot in interception there by uh, Dongping. And another one there. So they have a lead, albeit a very slender one. As they go to the champ. Harus berani. Ya, ayo yakin. Ditunggu aja bola keduanya mereka datang ya kenceng. It's interesting to see how uh, Tonto Yangmets is trying to find Healthy. the gap the whole time. How he's guiding these slow shots towards the front of the court and really finding the gaps around uh, Dong Ping. He's done that really well today. Yeah, good pressure, and it's a clever choice here by Wang because what he's doing is going down the line. Should it ever come back, it can only come back straight, and then he will be standing there for the next one. Clever play. Still well in this game, though, the Indonesians. Certainly hasn't been uh, probably as straightforward as a lot, a lot of people would have predicted up to this point. Yeah, well, good play, good yeah. play. Solid down the line there by Tontowi. Once again, it looks like Dong Ping is sort of disappearing a little bit from the picture. She must go in and assert herself at the net. Ahmed has played really consistently so far, backed up by his uh, much less experienced partner. They've got themselves on terms in the second game now. Three points in a row. Good return. Good return there by Dong Ping. Very fast. Attacking that serve very well. Guiding it into that mid-court area. It's a lucky shot, the isn't it? <laughs> hand of apology from Ahmed, but he'll take it.
took his racket away. I think that was going to miss the sideline by a fair margin. They're certainly getting the work out here, the number two seeds. And these two. Good play by Kando here. There's a chance to take by one going cross court. She was awake, got the racket to it, not sharp enough from uh, the male player from uh, China. Good return of serve again, twice now by Dong Ping. But it is easy to see that uh, the Thailand pair, Pua Wa Ranakro and Tyrat Tanachai, why they're getting closer and closer and closer to the second spot in the world. Because at the World Championship, they beat Wang and Huang in the semi final and, and uh, got silver, losing to Seng Si Wei and Huang Yachong. But you can see that uh, the Thailand pair is really catching up I, as I well. I felt that watching them over the last few, few tournaments that they're clearly on an upward curve. Absolutely. Another semi final for them here tomorrow. Service all. Oh, I'm with that shot. That's a good call by Wang Yilu. Very, very good call. Well, almost a certain challenge, inevitable at this stage of the match. I, I think it's, it's short, but uh, let's see. I think it was a good call by Wang. But let's see what uh, Hawkeye is saying. So it's either going to be 19-17 or 18 all. A massive, a massive difference. difference. Oh, it's short. Obviously had to use the challenge, nothing to lose at that point. Play. Still got an extra one. Great defense. Oh, that was well played by Dong Ping when she finally got into it. It was played all around her. She was never into that rally. But that reverse, this one here, look at this. See how Tanto is called. 17. He cannot defend the next one. Oh, it was pretty good play from everyone, wasn't it? A really entertaining rally, and it brings up three match points for the number two seeds. And that'll do it. But it was much more of a struggle than many would have predicted. 24-22, 21-17 is the final score, but surely there are big things ahead for uh, Winnie Kandau. You may not have seen too much of her, just 20 years of age, and she'll benefit from playing with from Chami Ahmad. But uh, Wang and Huang go through. We'll see them in the semi-finals tomorrow. This was the final point. So we've got two Chinese pairs in the semis of the mixed doubles. And we can confirm the score for you. 24-22, 21-17, 38 minutes is the official match time. Well, let's give you a quick reminder of what we've seen today. Uh, five matches, we kicked off with those, uh, the two ties in the mixed doubles, and they, they actually had a 20 points to eight lead in that uh, first game, eventually crawled over the line, but won it in straight games. Uh, Carolina Marin dropped the first game to uh, Her Bing Zhao, but was quite brilliant after that. Uh, Anders Antonsen all over Chow Chen Chen. First time he's beaten him at the sixth attempt, and he absolutely hammered him today. And in the mixed doubles, we've seen victories for the top seeds and the second seeds, although in slightly different uh, circumstances, really. Uh, the top seeds dominant. And as you've just seen, the second seeds, Wang and Huang, 
well, not overly convincing, but they did enough in the end to get past the Indonesians, Ahmad and Kanda. Just a brief uh, reminder uh, what's coming up in around about two and three quarter hours time. We've got a second session here. Five matches uh, we'll bring you live. And, uh, well, the highlight, uh, I would say probably that uh, Ong Bamrung Pan versus Taizu Ying women's quarter final. That should be good. The first match as well, uh, Chokowong versus Chen Yufei. We've got some men's doubles as well. Uh, and also the women's doubles featuring the number three seeds, Fukushima and Hirota, against the six seeds, Lee and Shin. Uh, that will all be coming up a little later on with uh, Jill Clark and Morton Frost. So thanks to Morton for uh, his work this afternoon and from me, Trevor Harris, and our whole outside broadcast crew here in Changzhou. For now, rejoin us in about two and three quarter hours. For now, it's goodbye. <laughs>